Hello everyone. So I'm just starting to learn Ableton Live 9 uh, for the paid for electronicmusic.com blog. And uh, in one of the tutorials, it actually said, you know, it's good to have a good uh, kick, uh, which is obvious. So I found this uh, Ableton article and uh, it referenced an FM kick rack, which I was able to download. Um, the problem is, is that it was in uh, a format which was basically the entire, an entire project. So it wasn't something that you could actually just use out of the box. Um, so you get the zip file, which then if I open that up, if I open that up, you basically get an ALP file, which is an entire project and it looks something like this. So you're able to, you know, test it out. You know, you can, uh, you can actually kind of play with all the knobs and everything else because it's set up an entire project it's got uh, that kick in its own, you know, in the uh, the devices here, so you can you can play around with it, but you can actually use it. So the way you can actually use it in your own track is to hit the save, and then it asks you to save it uh, to, you know, a different location. So I've got it in the user library. I've already got it here uh, because I've done it before. So uh, once you hit save and enter, it'll actually now be in your instrument rack. And then this ADG file, as opposed to the ALP file, you can drag in and add is now a separate uh, separate track in your set. So that's it. So basically, you just need to know to hit the save button, save it somewhere in your user library, and then you're able to drag it in and use it in your song.